Located in Center and Huntington counties, the Spruce Creek watershed is surrounded by beautiful forested ridges that produce clean, clear water for the valley streams below. This fertile watershed supports both a thriving agricultural community many generations deep and a trout stream so productive it attracts anglers from across the nation, including a few United States presidents. A watershed is an area of land where all of the water flows into a common water body, such as a stream, river, or bay. The Spruce Creek watershed is bordered by the ridges of Bald Eagle and Tussey Mountains. Water moves down from these ridges and across the landscape into three larger streams that merge into Spruce Creek. All the water that feeds Spruce Creek and its tributaries eventually flows into the Susquehanna River and onto the Chesapeake Bay. When we remove our native forests to build homes or schools or simply clear the land for agriculture, water quality can be affected. In the Spruce Creek watershed, agriculture is the predominant land use activity. And while it's critical to our existence, it can have unintended consequences to water quality. Some farming practices allow runoff containing manure, fertilizer, and soil to enter the waterways. This cumulative effect has degraded small streams throughout the Chesapeake Bay watershed and has had profound effects on the Chesapeake Bay itself. Clearwater Conservancy actively works with landowners and farmers to improve water quality in our central Pennsylvania streams. My name's Bobby Wright. Uh, some people call me Bob. Uh, I'm from Pittsburgh, um, actually Swickley, Pennsylvania. Uh, maybe late 80s, I, I came up with a group that was out of Pittsburgh, and uh, it was a fly fishing trip. And uh, my father-in-law, who got me into fly fishing uh, when I was in high school, uh, I told him I was coming up here, and he goes, you can't be serious. He goes, you're going to Spruce Creek. I says, yeah, why? He goes, oh, that's a famous place. It's a famous stream, and the presence of the United States fish there, and this and that, and this and that. And I said, oh, really? So it really didn't mean anything to me back then, but uh, as I got into fly fishing more, uh, I realized uh, how special this place really is. Serving Central Pennsylvania, Clearwater Conservancy is a nonprofit land trust and conservation organization. Its mission is to protect natural resources through land conservation, water resources protection, and environmental outreach to the community. Since 2004, Clearwater Conservancy has restored over 70,000 feet of degraded streams and 95 acres of streamside land. By working with landowners passionate about improving water quality and wildlife habitat, Clearwater's efforts in our central Pennsylvania headwaters have made a difference all the way downstream to the Chesapeake Bay. Financial support from Clearwater members, local businesses, and the community at large is critical to implementation of these large-scale restoration and conservation projects. The Penn State Legends Fly Fishing Clinic provides anglers with a unique opportunity to financially support Clearwater Conservancy's stream restoration efforts. Held on Spruce Creek, Clearwater's Legends event draws about 30 anglers each year who want to financially support the Conservancy while learning from some of the region's top experts, all past and current Penn State fly fishing instructors. Think about the people that are attending this. Uh, they're attending this for a purpose. They see a stream that really needs help, and they talk to their buddies about it, and, and they talk to somebody, and all at once it snowballs, and things get done. I think the important thing to consider with fly fishermen is they know that high water quality is important to the sport. Water quality supports mayflies, caddisflies, and stoneflies that are sources of food for trout. Insects are not just fish food, they're sentinels of water quality. And that's why I've arranged these tubs the way I have. Uh, these are the gold stars on their foreheads uh, in terms of better indicators of water quality. The Clearwater Legends event is an excellent opportunity for fly fishers across the eastern United States to give back to the sport. It's uh, an attempt to make them realize how truly important water quality is to the future of our sport and the health of our streams. It's interesting that people that get into the, the fly fishing, um, when they do this for a period of time, they start to see how things have changed maybe with their fishing. 
they're willing to contribute. They're willing to get involved with it. This is the third year that we've done this program. Their people are here because they're interested in, in contributing to making things better. We understand the value of water, but until you trout fish and realize how delicate the ecosystem is and how special and clean that water has to be for that, that creature to survive, you never get it. And you understand that there's insects living in there, that there's things in that water that you, I had no idea that survived only because the environment is clean enough. And it's, it's so beautiful. And it's so important to understand because that's all we got. It goes back to the bases again. If you don't take care of water, you, you don't have life. Proceeds from Clearwater's Legends Fly Fishing event directly support on-the-ground restoration efforts. The 2013 event benefited a large restoration project at the Hughes Farm located on Half Moon Creek, just upstream from where the event is held. As on many farms, years of free livestock access to the stream and removal of streamside vegetation cause excessive stream bank erosion. Financial support from the Legends event and other community donors enabled Clearwater Conservancy and our partners to restore 4,300 feet of Half Moon Creek. This was accomplished by stabilizing the stream banks, limiting livestock access by installing stream bank fencing and a stabilized livestock crossing, adding in-stream habitat structures, and planting a wide forested riparian buffer. I think the move towards stewardship of the land is really the only thing that's gonna save us. Uh, the Clearwater Conservancy is dedicated to stewardship of the land. They have the right ideas, they bring the right people, uh, and they identify the right parcels of land. Uh, the Hughes Farm, obviously upstream on Half Moon Creek, is going to be critical to this water that we're fishing right now. I've known about the reputation of uh, Spruce Creek as a, as a trout stream uh, for all my life. I would like to think that the stream that flows through my pasture is healthy enough to support fish, even if I'm not the one that's actively fishing for them. My great-grandparents farmed this place starting back around 1930. Uh, my ancestors clearly cut down everything right up to the edge of the stream. And with the cows in here, they're walking down over the edge of the bank and causing further erosion. I know if there's a lot of erosion going on, it's washing soil downstream and harming uh, the, the, the shrimping and uh, other uh, shellfish in the, in the Chesapeake. So I would like to be able to see it landscaped in a way that it stops the erosion, and then when the fencing gets up, it'll be, it'll be protected. Although I want to preserve the pasture land for the cows and uh, use the, the fields to make hay, I think that in some ways I have a little different view of uh, how the farm should be treated than my ancestors did. That is, get a buffer around the stream, stop the erosion from it, and return that little section along the stream uh, to nature. Thanks to landowners like Donna and Dan Hughes, another section of our treasured Central Pennsylvania streams have been restored. Clearwater and our partners have worked with many other interested landowners and have restored over 74,000 feet of streams, planted 95 acres of forested riparian buffers, and removed three non-functioning dams to improve fish passage. We've also installed many agricultural best management practices such as stream bank fencing and stabilized livestock crossings. Our vision is to continue helping landowners restoring sections of stream until all central Pennsylvania waterways are healthy again and no longer sending pollution downstream. I believe in clear water. I believe that their primary purpose every day they get out of bed to go to work is to make the streams of Pennsylvania better. They get the jobs done, but they do need money. We live in a great state. We have a lot of great water. And I know it comes naturally, but we have to preserve it. And without organizations like Clearwater, uh, we're gonna lose it. While Clearwater Conservancy has enjoyed many successes in stream restoration, there is still a lot of work to do here in central Pennsylvania. In addition to landowner partners, these projects require financial support from individuals, businesses, and organizations to help cover the costs of this work. 
Your support is critical to continuing this important effort. Please join us and donate today so all of us can enjoy clean, healthy streams in the future. To learn more about how you can be involved, visit us at clearwaterconservancy.org.